Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News for Mountain Comfort Furnishings and Design. Dillon Amphitheater is having an identity crisis. Earlier this year, event staff asked council for a policy on who and what should be allowed there. Just recently, council told a local church it can keep hosting services there and butted heads with the town attorney. The attorney recommended shying away from all religious and political events. Tomorrow, town council is holding a special meeting for your thoughts on who and what are allowed at Dillon Amp. That meeting starts 5 p.m. tomorrow, in person and online. Summit County is putting more money into roads than they have in a long time. But not every road is funded equally. Swan Mountain Road gets a bigger share of the budget. Here's why. It is the one road that virtually everybody in the community uses, despite the fact that it's in one of the worst conditions. That was Robert Jacobs with County Road and Bridge. Road and Bridge is anxiously awaiting on a $25 million grant for Swan. If we do get this grant next week, that'll be a significant help. But as the life cycle of that road continues on, we're going to have to continue to invest in that road to maintain. If they win that grant, Swan Mountain gets a major rebuild next summer. Jacobs is feeling good about it. Getting money this summer for rebuilds, Tiger Road and Red Cloud Peak Road. Planned work on Straight Creek Road is likely delayed. There's a whole lot of new homes on the market. This from Altitude Realtors. Inventory doubled over the past year. The asking price is soaring too. It's averaging $2.46 million. That's up 33% in a year. Summit is still one of the most exclusive markets in the state. Since January, the median home price here is nearly three times more than anywhere else. Even back in the COVID boom of 2021, it was barely double. Today we are in the classroom with an award-winning CMC professor who just can't stop. I retired about seven years ago, but I love what I do and I beg for my classes back. That was Laura Pless. She's been teaching on and off with CMC since 1994. These days, she teaches the high school diploma course for students over 21. One course is workforce math, reading, digital literacy, graphic literacy, and then another course is Colorado history. Another course is civics and citizenship. Students get two semesters to graduate. Many do it in just one. Almost all are holding down full-time jobs. Most people find if they do a little bit every day, they can reach the goal. Close that door, get their diploma, and move on with life, and gives them so many more opportunities. Pless was recently named Part-Time Faculty of the Year there at CMC. She says she couldn't do it without her co-teacher, Ana Reyes. She's just a rock star. The students love her. She's able to do Spanish and English and help everyone in the class, and we're very fortunate to have her. Thanks again for going in the classroom. Proudly presented by Heavenly Times Hot Tubs and Billiards and the Summit Foundation Bright Futures Fund. Local fire dangers moderate today in Summit with no fire restrictions. There's no red flag warning today for the first time since Sunday. The interlock and fire at Twin Lakes has barely grown this week. It's 86% contained. Over 230 firefighters do remain there to clear deadfall and smother flare-ups. They say it could smolder for weeks. In sports, the Rockies play the Dodgers today at 640. And in local sports, Leaving the start line soon at Frisco Adventure Park are runners in the opening race of the Mountain Goat Kids Trail Running Series. First race is at 545. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.